Okay. So quickly moving to the next thing. This is what is known as well, the calco flow stain. Calco flow stain in microbiology. So for this calco flow stain in microbiology, we are saying that is actually fluorescent dye. Fluorescent dye meaning that can you see how it is making this organism is making the color pop up. Easy for you to identify it. So this calco flow stain is a fluorescent dye using what microbiology and histology to detect fungi and other organisms that have chitin or cellulose in their cell walls. So these organisms have chitin or cellulose in their cell walls. So for this principle, calcofloor white actually binds what? It binds non-specifically to 1,3-beta and 1,4-polysaccharides that are found in the cell walls of fungi, plants, algae, and all of that, right? So when you expose it to ultraviolet light, these stained structures will fluoresce a bright apple green color, making them very visible under a fluorescent microscope. Okay. So let's quickly look at the procedures and all of that. For sample preparation, you place the specimen on a clean glass slide. Staining, you add a drop of what calcofluor white stain to the specimen. Incubation, you allow the stain to bind for about one minute. Excess stain removal, you gently press a dry paper towel just to remove excessive what dye. Okay, mounting is where you now cover the sun, the specimen with a cover slave that you observe under what a fluorescent microscope using ultraviolet light. Okay, so for results, we say that fungi and parasites do appear what bright apple green under the ultraviolet light, while background tissue, the whole background tissue does show what reddish orange fluorescence. Reddish orange. Reddish orange around it. Okay. So application is using what clinical mycologists to detect things like fungal infections and in parasitology just to identify what parasitic cysts. Okay. So and also is using studying what the structure of fungi and algae. Okay. Calcofloor white stain.